Welcome to video tutorial number nine. Um, firstly, I'm going to show you how to change a ball of wool, which is something I get asked quite frequently. So we're going to do that now. Um, now let's pretend our wool has run out. Let's pretend it's gone or it's snapped. Something's happened and you need to join a new one. How do you do that? So what we would do is we would, don't leave it too short, give it, so at least it's got a couple of inches. And what we would do is carry on as if we're going to do a new stitch. So we're going to go in as if we're going to do our double crochet, but then we're going to get the end of our new ball of wool. And we're just going to pop that here, leave a couple of inches again, don't leave it too short, it could slip out. And we're going to do our yarn over with that and then carry on our stitch. So that's just a normal double crochet, but we, instead of using the end of wool, when we started our stitch, we grab the wool from the new ball. And then we'll go into the next stitch and carry on as normal. That's just a double crochet. And another one. So probably carry on a couple of stitches afterwards. So we're not right on top of it. And then at the back, what I'm going to do is just gently pull them. Don't pull them really tight to the pucker, but just to make sure that the stitches are normal on the front so there isn't a big gap or they're not pulled really tight and all we do at the back of our work we will just do a double knot and because if you actually just tie a knot and carry on crocheting you may find that the knot works its way to the front so we always just start your stitch doing your first grabbing of the yarn from the new ball carry on like that and then just clip them off at the back so I'm just going to leave a centimetre or two. I won't cut them really short, just so it doesn't unravel. And then that now, that knot is on the inside and we can't see a thing. And on the front, let's just show you. So that's all you do when you run out of wool. Start your new stitch with the new strand and knot them at the back. So don't ever just knot them together and carry on crocheting because you probably will find the knot ends up at the front or then it'll end up pulling through. Whereas when I've done it this way, I've never had one manage to find its way to the front. So we left you in the last tutorial making a second leg. So now we have two. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the original one where we did the slip stitch and fasten off. That's our leg one. And this one, which we are still crocheting, I've just got to the end of it, there we go. I'll pop our stitch marker back on because I had taken it off because we, because we were changing the wool. So, so that is our second leg. So you've got your first leg, slip stitch and fasten off, and your second leg that is still attached to the ball. So you leave that attached, we don't fasten that off. So what we're going to do now is read our instructions first, clearly, so we've got in our head what we're going to do. So it's round 11. Join the legs by crochet in, into the first leg and double crochet 18 stitches around. Begin at the stitch after where you fastened off. Follow the red arrow. Then continue with the 18 stitches of the second leg. Follow the blue arrow. 36. So we have 18 stitches on leg one, 18 stitches on leg two. So when we've joined them, we're going to have both of those all together on one round, making 36 stitches. And it says the photo shows the first stitch being made. So on our photo, we're going to go around. I've tried to do arrows so we can see it really clearly. We're going to go around that leg like so, and then around the, the second leg. So we're just putting them together and making one big round. So we're going to start that now. So this is leg two because our wool is still attached. So now what we're going to do is grab leg one and we're going to go into the stitch after we where we fastened off. You could start anywhere, but then you'll end up with this somewhere around the middle, whereas it's best to have this bit between the bunny's legs and it's less noticeable. And we will leave that piece attached because when we join them, sometimes we find that it leaves a little gap between the legs and we don't want any stuffing coming out. So we will use that strand to sew up any gap a bit later on, once we've started stuffing the body. So just leave that attached and have this on the outside if you can, because you're going to be sewing up with it later. So leave it on the outside. So we're going to keep 
our hook on here and then we're going to do as if we're doing our next stitch on the first leg so we're going to go into the stitch after where we fastened off which is this one and then all we're going to do is carry on crocheting around so now we're going to crochet all the way around one double crochet in each of leg one so just to make it clear I'll go through that again so this is leg one that's been fastened off this is leg two that we've just made that is still attached to the ball so we're going to get leg one put our hook into the first stitch after the strand where we fastened off so that's going to be our stitch one now we're going to make sure we use the right strand the one that goes to the ball the number of times I've accidentally picked up the just the odd one and started working with that so we're just going to double crochet as normal and it's one double crochet in each so we're just going to go all the way around this leg like so so one stitch in each because it says double crochet 18 stitches and that's how many we have so one in each so all the way around leave your stitch marker on where it was before because otherwise it is confu it is a little bit difficult sometimes you can get mixed up as to where how many legs you've gone round and where you're up to so just leave that stitch marker on where it was there so we're going all the way around the first leg and if you can see what we're doing here look there's our two legs that's where we've joined them we're going all the way around here and then all the way around there that's what it shows on the pictures with the arrows so in effect we're just putting them together crocheting round both legs into one big round and then our legs will be joined and then we'll be working on the body and that means no sewing legs on genius if you hate sewing which a lot of people don't like the sewing up they find that um <laughs> a little bit of the boring bit I quite like it because it's when you see your mate come into life and you see the character emerging and all your hard work of making all the parts suddenly you think oh, goodness look I can see what I was actually making so we're nearly round leg one see I'm stuck what stitch I'm up to oh, that's the one I've worked that's, um, so that's the next one so we're just doing a standard one double crochet in each stitch yeah and that's our strand so we've come back to there so we're just going to leave that on the outside it gets in the way a little bit it's a bit fiddly just ignore it so we're up to the last stitch now so what we're going to do now is we're going to reach across and start crocheting the first stitch we can see on this leg that's not already been done so that one there you can see it lifts that's got a stitch in there look and you see we're lifting it up and we can see that's been crocheted into so we're going to go to this one and you see there so now we're going from leg one across to leg two try and open them up so you can see them so what we've done is we started here went all the way around here and now we're joining it to that one and we're going to go all the way around there back to our marker and then we'll know we've gone around both of the legs just don't think of it like if you're putting them together and just crocheting around the top of both of them and if you leave a little bit of a gap don't worry we'll stitch that up later it's not the end of the world and I've actually started crocheting with this one because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing that's it <laughs> I've dropped that one and picked up that one see anybody can do it wrong it's so difficult and I'm trying to to do it without looking I'm looking at my camera <laughs> so we're joining to the second leg and carrying on going round all I did there was I accidentally picked up the tail end and started using that to crochet with so I just pulled it back a couple of stitches and used the other strand so I'm going around the second leg one double crochet in each stitch now it's quite common if you count your stitches at the end you will probably find you're a few stitches out because it can be tricky to see which is the correct stitch so it's easy to miss some between the legs or accidentally do do um, crochet into ones you've already been in it's really easy but don't worry too much if you're a couple of stitches out at this stage 
if your stitch is short you can do an extra increase or two and if your stitch is over we can do a decrease but as we haven't shown you that yet we won't worry about it just just leave it unless you're a lot of stitches out just just ignore it for now so we've got all the way around back to this one so I'm going to move our marker like we normally do at the end of our round pop that in there and then I'm going to show you let's just pull a bit more wool out what we've done so in effect we have been all the way around this one leg all the way around this leg and now the legs are together look and they look like that so now what we're going to continue with our next rounds is we're going to be going round this full circle like that in a figure of eight just keep on going round so keep your marker in because it's far easier to see um, where you're finishing so otherwise you can get to the end of one leg and you can't remember if you've been around one or two so just keep that marker as usual so I'll read the next part of the pattern what we're going to be doing let's move our post-it note so we've done round 11 which was doing one stitch in each leg I'll pop it down there so we can see it so we've done line 11, it's the one we've just completed. Rows 12 to 18, double crochet, 36 stitches times seven rounds, 36. Because we're ending with 36 again, we're not increasing or decreasing any. We're just keeping the same number because we're just doing one double crochet in each. You are now crocheting around the new bigger round containing both legs. Stuff the legs firmly. If there is a hole where the legs were joined, use your needle to close the gap with a few stitches and the strand left on the first leg. So what I'll do when we've completed those seven rounds, I will show you how to do that. Um, so for now, we'll just hang on um, to show you that bit until we're in the next lesson. So what I would need you to do now is do is complete 12 to 18. So what you will be doing is crocheting all the way around again. So around all 36, so around there and around there. And as you do the next couple of rows, it'll turn into a much easier to see one big round. So you're going to go round for row tw round 12, then all the way around again for 13, all the way around for 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So use a pen and paper to keep um, a note of where you're up to and complete all of those rounds. So you'll be doing another seven full circle. So your bunny should be about up to here. And then what I'll do is at the next lesson, I will meet you there and we'll show you how to do the stuffing and also show you how to close the gap.